Hey there, I'm Garrett from the Software Training Lab, and today we're going to go over animating clip properties in Adobe Premiere Pro. To start off animating, we're going to use a very simple example. The classic game of Pong is one of the earliest video games, and it also works as a great introduction to animation. With all my layers set where I want them, I have a ball, the right bumper, and left bumper, I'm going to select a clip and move to the Effect Controls panel. Let's start with the ball. Make sure you have the Motion section open. Activate animation for any of these clips by clicking the little stopwatch icon. This sets what is called a keyframe. Keyframes are a crucial concept to understanding motion and animation. A keyframe essentially tells the computer, at this specific time, at the start of the video, I want this clip to be at this position. If we move our playhead a little further along and set a new value for the position, let's say a little to the left, a little further down, we have set a new keyframe. The computer knows that this clip needs to be at this first keyframe and at this second keyframe. So it fills in the space in between. And boom, we have motion. Here's what happens when I hit play. If we want something to move a little faster, we need to make it happen within a shorter amount of time. So I can move my keyframe a little to the left to make it happen in half a second rather than a full second. Nice. If you want the object to stay in the same spot, set two identical keyframes where it won't change value. You can use these small icons to the left of the track to set keyframes. Right now I have this keyframe set to 777 and 727. If I move further along and click this little diamond, that will add a new keyframe. And in this time period, nothing will change. Feel free to use the arrows left to jump between keyframes and right to jump to the right. And keep in mind that your playhead must be on top of the keyframe to edit it. If I'm all the way down here, even though it's selected, any changes I make will add a new keyframe at this point in the video. Be careful with that. With just the position value, we can get a relatively realistic game of Pong going, moving the ball across the screen and moving the paddles to play as well. You'll notice when I play, it's a little wonky though. It comes off really rounded and doesn't bounce the way I might expect it to. If I select all my keyframes and right click, I can go to Spatial Interpolation. Changing spatial interpolation changes how it interprets the spatial values or the space of the keyframes. So right now, it's trying to use a Bezier curve. It's curving the ball around. If I change to linear, this should be a bit more bouncy. Nice. Now this was only using the position value. We can also get a little more advanced with that Photoshop file from our previous video. We've already imported our Photoshop file with individual layers, and this scene depicts a quick alien abduction on our poor cow. I'm going to place all the layers on the timeline, making sure that the background is on the bottom, the foreground on the top. Just like before, I can adjust position of each layer, but this time I'm also going to adjust scale and opacity. Now I can make different elements grow and shrink and even appear and disappear. The alien ship can fly in, drop their tractor beam, and pick up this cow before the farmer even notices. Like most principles of Premiere, this is going to take a lot of practice. You can animate practically any property in the Effect Controls panel, provided that it has the stopwatch icon next to it. Take time to practice animating and using keyframes because they will be so useful to you in the long run. In our next video, we're going to cover how to use masks and track moving elements in your video.